Nobody wins when the family feels. <laughs> it's gonna get ugly. It's gonna get ugly, y'all. They killed Gotti brother. Yeah, they killed Juke. Mine. Did Winchester? What did Winchester? What? Winchester. Peace. I don't pay no beside two real niggas. Two real niggas with a p in the middle, man. Y'all don't do that, man. Don't go buy a legacy. So put right here, y'all. Two guys. Lock me up, bro. And keep in mind, I said if I see Juke, if I see Got it, if I see, if I see uh if I see me or if I see Young Star, shit ain't got nothing to do with nobody else, bro. I said if I see them folk, because these folk got some had something to do with it, bro. D know the juke put a hit out. You know what I'm saying? But we, nah, I'll let, bro. I need to say that. You don't say that. Nigga, tell the truth. Say, man, hey, bro, how you gonna feel if I told you? Hey, man, look, bro. My juke put a forty thousand dollar hit on you, bro. Like, you, hey, come on, bro. I'm standing on there. I ain't no, I ain't, uh, bro. I'm not no shake. Man, I'm fat boy with me. Boy, scared of the water. Hey, man. Feet in the sand, man. You know what they say, family. They can't get to you. They gonna touch someone you love. And no matter how much you turn your life around, there's always somebody from way back trying to get that payback. Today we got some sad news coming out of Memphis. The Memphis rap star and CEO, Yo Gotti, brother had lost his life allegedly within the last 24 hours. Now all this happened broad daylight at a repass for a well-known Memphis drug kingpin that have close connections to the victim and his family. Now in this video, we will discuss how he was a kingpin and also his connections to Yo Gotti and Big Jook and the CMG family. Also in this video, we're gonna take a look at live footage, check out the updates on how Big Jook had lost his life, as well as take a look at the public information on why he had a target on his back for, of course, the obvious. Young Dolph may rest in peace, but some people in Memphis would say, way before Young Dolph lost his life, Big Jook had a target on his back. So before we go over this one, remember, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna jump right to it. Growing up in Memphis, Tennessee, was a kid who just went by Jook. As time would go on, he would transform into Big Jook. Big Jook happens to also be a CEO of CMG Music which is co-founded by his brother, Yo Gotti. With a number of talented artists on a roster, like Glorilla, ESTG, Moneybag Yo, Black Youngster, just to name a few. Once upon a time, the CMG camp, Yo Gotti himself, wanted to sign the late great Young Dolph. Now this story was told a number of times, and we all know Young Dolph declined and made the household brand, P.R.E., Paper Route Empire. Now, Young Dolph was proposed that in 2014 by Yo Gotti. It seemed it would die down and no one would think nothing of it until 2017, three years later. Young Dolph had made a track, Play With Your B, with a Yo Gotti lookalike. Oh, your last two mixtapes. I hear you slick dissing, but that shit line. But on the same year Young Dolph would put out this track, he would have had two attempts on his life. On the second time, the bullets actually landed, causing Young Dolph to immediately have surgery. And thank God he survived. And I'm Pat Harvey. Breaking news, a shooting at a popular tourist spot in Hollywood. Tonight, a rapper is in critical condition. It happened just after one this afternoon in front of the Lowe's Hotel at the Hollywood and Highland Complex. And CBS 2's Dave Lopez is live in Hollywood with more information. Dave. Right in front of where that shooting took place, we can't tell you the rapper's real name is Adolf Thornton. He comes out of Memphis. He's been a big star on the rap scene since 2014. He goes by the name of Young Dolph is his rapper name. He is in critical condition, according to the LAPD, but not life-threatening injuries. He apparently is either still in surgery or about to get out of surgery after being shot numerous times in the upper body right across the street. And they say it could be back to, it could go connected to a feud that rapper, rap groups are having, the feud that goes all the way back back to February. Everybody screaming gang. This is 32-year-old rapper Young Dolph, whose latest album is entitled Bulletproof, and one of the songs on that album, 100 Shots. And detectives say just before 1 o'clock this afternoon, he was shot. Detectives say three men approached him right in front of Lowell's Hollywood Hotel today, where all four were guests. There was a fight. Young Dolph fell to the ground, and that's when one of the three suspects, 
Open fire. No idea what the altercation was about, what the verbal fight was about. Not at this point. It just sounds like it escalated from a back and forth sort of argument. Seven months ago in North Carolina, after a concert, young Dolph had his SUV shot up. Police say nearly 100 bullets were fired into his SUV. He was not in it. Allegedly, there was a feud with another rapper. Detectives say much of what happened today is all caught on security cameras from the hotel. After young Dolph was shot, he staggered into this nearby shoe store and the three suspects fled on foot, even though they arrived, according to police, in this gold-colored SUV. Was the victim armed? No, not that we're aware of. We haven't found a handgun. Nobody said he was armed. Video surveillance does not show that. Police say the three suspects are still on the loose. However, about two blocks away from the shooting, they did detain three men. Two of them, we are told, have been released, but this man remains in police custody and is still being questioned. The shooting occurred just off Hollywood Boulevard, near the intersection of Hollywood and Highland, where tourists flocked by the thousands. Again, no one else was shot except the rapper, and three suspects remain on the loose. Detectives just confirmed me that young Dolph uh, was going into the hotel when he uh, was confronted by these three men who happened to be, in their words, a rival group, a rival group in the rap world. Again, they would not give us details how this and the shooting back in uh, the Carolinas is connected, although they say they are looking at the possibility that the two are related. They would not give any other details other than the fact that even though he's listed as critical, he's expected to survive the number of shots that he took. Back to you in the studio. That's Dave Lopez. Now, in both shootings in 2017 in Charlotte and L.A., both people who was connected was tied to CMG, with one being a rapper, Black Youngster. But you could tell the tension was still heavy. Once CMG Jook went to Instagram and made this post in 2020. I don't know beside two real niggas. Two real niggas would have been in the middle, man. Y'all don't do that, man. Goodbye, legacy. So see right here, y'all. Two guys. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that painting was at a Tennessee airport. Now, in the following year, on November 17th, 2021, young Dolph would lose his life in Memphis, Tennessee, at a local cookie spot. He was gunned down by two men while trying to buy cookies. May he rest in peace and love and condolences to his family. Now, a couple people was arrested for the demise of young Dolph. One of those arrested was an older gentleman that went by the name of Hernandez Govan, who was also spotted with CMG Juk. So this three times, Young Dolph had an attempt on his life all after that public statement. And on the third time, it cost him his life. All three times, all three of us was connected to CMG. So you can see why fans assume that Young Dolph had an attempt on his life from someone close to CMG. And to add fuel to those allegations, someone close to PRE had came out after Young Dolph lost his life and said the following about Big Juke. Lock me up, bro. And keep in mind, I said if I see Juke, if I see Gotti, if I see if I see uh if I see Migo, if I see Young Star, shit ain't got nothing to do with nobody else, bro. I said if I see them folk because these folk got some had something to do with it, bro. These folk that Juke put a hit out, you know what I'm saying, bro. Nah, let, bro. I need to say that. Don't say that. Nigga, tell the truth. Say, man, hey, bro, how you gonna feel if I told you? Hey, man, look, bro. My just put a forty thousand dollar hit on you, bro. Like, you, hey, come on, bro. I'm standing on there. I ain't no, I ain't, uh, bro. I'm not no shake nars on my head, and I'm finna do this, bro. Anybody that associate with you, and this ain't got nothing to do with them other folks, bro. Cause they ain't in no, in no, in no. And you know, I, I like Big Boog. I ain't throwing him in no in no foul trying to fight me up. So as you can see, it was clear that people even close to Young Dolph assumed that the reason he lost his life, especially knowing that the two men who was arrested at first wasn't even in his tax bracket, was his. Fast forward two years later, in December of 2023, Big Juke Uncle had lost his life. He was identified as Las Vegas Erd, a legendary kingpin, according to Big Juke on his Instagram post, less than 24 hours before he lost his life. Now when Yo Gotti come out and say he learned the game from his auntie and his mother, he wasn't lying. My mom was in the kitchen, kitchen. my brother went to prison, prison. hate I couldn't finish college. college, I got the game from my mama, nigga, my auntie, shot Janet, mom. In 1993, Yo Gotti aunt Linda was arrested with over $100,000 in cash in her house. Now, Ms. Linda ended up getting 84 months in prison. 
after the jury found her guilty of conspiracy to possess C with intent to distribute. She took it to trial, but also when that indictment, who they really was looking for was Las Vegas Erg, AKA Erg Bovan. Now, according to Yo Gotti's aunt, Linda Mims, her indictment indicates that Eric Bovan is her brother-in-law. And in the early 90s, he was the leader of a large seed distribution network that transported seed from Los Angeles to Memphis. And with LA being so close to Las Vegas, about a three and a half hour drive, which is why he had the nickname Las Vegas E. According to the indictment, they placed your Gotti's aunt house under surveillance. The videotapes show co-conspirators Eric and Janet Bovan entering Mam's house on September 17, 1987 with Earl Woods, a government informant. And this is how Yo Gotti, other aunt, and his mom was arrested as well. The informant testified that he accompanied Eric and Janet Bovan to Mam's house and that they carried a briefcase containing money. He said that Mam's gave a sack containing 25000 to 40000 to them and that they counted the combined money which totaled to $100,000 to $170,000. The government informant also testified that on another occasion, he and another co-conspirator delivered a bag containing 7 kilograms of C to Janet Bovan and that she told him that she was taking the C to Mam's house. But after doing his debt to society, Eric Bovan will lose his life on the last day of 2023. May he rest in peace and love and condolences to his family. His repast was on January 13th, 2024. In attendance was Big Jup and his family. It was hosted at a newly acquired event center at 6385 Winchester Road in Memphis, Tennessee. As the repast was let out, Gummin was soon approached Big Jup. Reports will come out that he will lose his life with the image surfacing of him getting into the back of an ambulance. May he rest in peace and love and condolences to his family. Because of who Big Jook is, it is heavily secured at this time. And once again, only 24 is here. I am the only one besides T24 that has this coverage as far as the news media and other outlets, uh, other, you know, um, independent, in independent um, creators. I'll put it like that, that way, independent creators. And of course, here we go. We have the um, crime scene investigation uh, truck just pulled in. So they're getting ready. That's, oh, you can't see that light is beaming in my, my, my phone is freezing because it's cold out here. Uh, the investigator crime scene truck just pulled in. So they're getting ready to come and pick up Big Jook. Y'all, I can't, you can't see my, my phone just freezing. But when I tell y'all it's cold out here. What? So that was pretty much it. We're going to wrap this video up. As more develop, I keep you guys updated. But man. Once again, rest in peace to all the victims in this story. Love and condolences to the families. Fam, as you know, that karma, ma. But this was a story of a big name who was just gunned down in his hometown in Memphis, Tennessee while attending his drug kingpin uncle repass. Family, let me know how you guys feel about this one in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And today, I'll catch you guys on the next one.